Hi, this is Dahlia, and I'm part of the horticulture team here at Rogers Gardens. And today I want to talk to you about attracting butterflies to your garden. Butterflies are so beautiful. They're not just beautiful, but they also pollinate uh, your garden. They act as such a beautiful artistic piece, and it's very soothing and calming for the spirit and the soul. And today I want to talk to you about adding some of this beautiful flowers and plants into this garden. The first plant I want to tell you about is the milkweed, Aslepia, which is the host plant to attracting butterflies into the garden. This is the main source of food for a butterfly. So you could either go with the native, we have an orange and a yellow, and they will lay their eggs on this plant here, and that egg will turn into a beautiful caterpillar, and that caterpillar is gonna munch away at this plant, and then that's gonna turn into a chrysalis, and then that will turn into a butterfly. The next plant is Status Limonium, and this is actually considered a landing pad for butterflies. As you could see, that, they, that this is very easy for them to land on, and uh, it is just such a beautiful plant. Uh, it only gets to be about, uh, about two feet by two feet, and it blooms year round. The next plant that I want to introduce you to is Yarrow, Achillea, which is a fabulous butterfly attractive plant. As you could see, it's another one of those uh, great plants. It's a landing pad. It has uh, nectar and it comes in all different colors and sizes. So you can pretty much have a smorgasbord of uh, uh, Yarrow in your garden for your butterflies. The next plant is going to be the Scabiosa. And Scabiosa just about blooms year round. It is just a fabulous plant and they just love landing on this and nothing is going to attract these butterflies to your garden like these Pentas Nova. I mean, they are just all over this plant. This plant here blooms year round. It's drought tolerant and uh, gets to be about three feet by three feet. It is a fabulous, uh, also, uh, hummingbird attractant. The next plant is Budlia, and Budlia is actually called butterfly bush. And this is just an amazing, colorful plant. It will surely attract the butterflies. They come in really tall, big, huge shrubs, six feet by six feet, or you can get really nice, compact, short varieties as well. The next plant is Lantana. I love Lantana. You can get it in a nice tall variety also, in all different kind of colors. It even comes in pinks and burgundies and whites, yellows, oranges. And this is just a, a, a great plant to introduce to the garden that it will actually attract a lot of different types of butterflies. And then one of my favorites is Galeria. It comes in yellows, oranges, burgundies, and this plant is just so prolific in the garden. It'll attract the butterflies all spring, summer, and fall. And then there's nothing like Shasta daisies. These are just such a great, beautiful plant. They're strong. The flowers are just so beautiful. The butterflies love them, and they make a great cut flower. And then there's the verbenas. The verbena family is huge, and uh, the verbenas have a lot of nectar, and this is a fabulous plant uh, for the butterflies to get their source of nectar. And then all of the coreopsis. You can do perennial coreopsis, you could do annual coreopsis, you could even do these, spread out the seeds, and uh, they will surely come to your garden. And then there's a lot of herbs that you can add to the garden as well, like fennel, dill, and rue. These herbs are just amazing in the garden for you to cook with, but they also attract a lot of wonderful butterflies. Once again, this is Dahlia, and thank you so much for joining me today. We have such a great selection of all of these plants here at Rogers Gardens, and it is so important for your physical and mental and artistic uh, life to add all of these beautiful plants and to look at the beautiful butterflies. It just brings such harmony to your life. So happy butterfly gardening to you.